Father Saint Luke, Saint Luke. Between the two, these two inspired authors, inspired in inverted commas, they give you 66 fathers and grandfathers to Jesus Christ. 66. It's an amazing situation. A man who has no father. Baby, you can call me a superman. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your boy Jesse Kagan. And your girl Fanny Longo. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about so right about now we're gonna do another reaction. And uh, before we get into the reaction, because we want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing. We want to thank everybody for getting us to uh, getting us to 7,600 subscribers. You're the greatest MVP. And also we want to thank each and every person who has given us a suggestion. You're also the realest MVP. And guys, we do any type of reaction video, just let us know in the comment section. Any type, funny reaction videos, music videos, and any, any reaction, just let us know in the comment section. This channel right here is more of a reaction based uh, videos. And we have a new channel which is called Funny and Jesse 2.0 where you, if you want to go out and see our, our daily lives and stuff like that, that's the channel that you, you can go and you know watch probably enjoy sit down and enjoy and yeah so right about now this is what we're gonna talk about did that at his best part four and this one was suggested by a lot of people a lot of people seem to like uh did that so much probably because he is a is a good teacher or something like that and i think he was the first um uh i think he was the first person to go into debate with a with virus uh, religion and stuff like that. Uh, so, without any further ado, let's get it. I did for you. The Qari read, says, Wa in kuntum fi raibin mimma nazzalna ala abdina fa'tu bi suratim min misli. Meaning that if you have any doubts with regards to the revelation given by God Almighty to his prophet Muhammad. If you have any doubt, then produce a surah, a chapter like it. And bring forth your witnesses and helpers if there's anyone besides Allah to testify. So you will not be able to do it. But and you will never, never be able to do that. This, this is a 1400 year old challenge. That you will not be able to do it, and you will never, never be able to do it. So prepare yourself for the fire whose fuel is men in stones. Surah Jashia, look for it on the J. Jashia, ayah number one and two. It says, Tanzeel al kitabi min Allah al Aziz al Hakim. That the revelation of the book is from Allah, the exalted in might, full of wisdom. Chapter 45, ayah number one and two. The Quran identifies itself that I am the Quran and the author is God Almighty. Coming to the Bible, the Holy Bible, no doubt on the face of it we have the words Holy Bible. Who put the word Holy Bible? The printers. Beautiful calligraphy, beautiful the calligraphy. In this vast volume, described by Dr. Shorosh in a previous meeting as a library of 66 books. He forgot that the Roman Catholics have 73 books. But between the 73 of the Roman Catholics and 66 of the Protestants, the word Bible is not in the Bible. It's an amazing situation. The witness hasn't got a name. He's anonymous. In the vast encyclopedia, the word Bible is not in the Bible. 
this is a concocted word. Kong is boasting that in the Bible more is told of a genealogy than of the day of judgment. Let us see whether his words are true. I have brought with me two genealogies. Genealogy means your ancestry, the ancestry of a person, your father, your grandfather, your great-grandfather, and on and on and on. Where do you originate? Here is one. The genealogy of Jesus Christ as given in the Gospel of St. Matthew. Here, thank you, here is another genealogy of Jesus Christ. This is from the Gospel of St. Luke, St. Luke. Between the two, these two inspired authors, inspired in inverted commas, they give you 66 fathers and grandfathers to Jesus Christ. 66. It's an amazing situation. A man who has no father, we believe, no Muslim is a Muslim, if he contests this fact, we believe that Jesus Christ was born miraculously without any male intervention. He had no father. His creator was God. By his act of will, God created Jesus. So says God Almighty that whenever he wants to create anything, he merely wills it and the thing comes into being no father, born miraculously. Matthew and Luke, they give us 66 fathers and grandfathers to a man who had no father. And they say, they say in this genealogy, there is only one name common to these two lists. There are two separate lists, but the only one name common to the both. And that is Joseph the carpenter. And Joseph, Joseph the carpenter was not supposed to be there. A man who is not supposed to be is there. And it tells us that the father of Joseph the carpenter Matthew says the name of Joseph's father, the grandfather of Jesus, was Jacob. And Luke tells us that the grandfather of Jesus was Heli. Contradiction. At the very start, the man who's not supposed to be there is there. And his grandfathers, there are six such contradictions in the genealogy alone. And this man, Luke, he tells, the Lord will shave with a hired razor. The Lord means God will shave with a hired razor. Wahjam, Allah. Hired razor, this one here, sir. They didn't have safety razors then. Hired razor, the cutthroat, we call them cutthroats. With those from beyond the river, with the king of Assyria, the head and the hair of the legs. He will shave your head and the hair of your legs. It doesn't say how high. You tell that to a barber today, you know, to shave. <laughs> he said, don't you know about Imac or wheat or what, what does it mean? You know, in England, man, you see this Edwards every day. Huh? God Almighty, he, he takes this and he's going to shave people's legs, hair on the legs. What are you trying to do to God, Yahi? is in your own book. The Bible. It's in your Holy Bible. Where is it? It is in the first book of the New Testament. First book. Chapter 1, verse 1. You'll never forget. 1, 1, 1. Three aces in a game. You'll never forget. What does it say? You ask me what does it say? I tell you what it says. It says, you remember I showed you the genealogy? Yes. The first verse. It says, this is the genealogy of Jesus Christ. 
the son of Abraham, the son of David. Ask him, ask him. Is that what it says? Jesus is the son of Abraham, he is the son of David. Then in the gospel of Saint Luke, in the other genealogy, he is the son of Joseph. Joseph the carpenter is his father. Then in the book of Mark, he is the son of God. Wait, 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 wait. He is the son of Abraham, means Abraham is his father. He is the son of David, David is his father. He is the son of Joseph, Joseph is his father. He is the son of God, God is his father. A man who's got four fathers. In your language, sir, in America, what do you call it? something totally different from everyone. Almost different, I mean. Catholic are the Romans, yeah? I mean, they, they conform themselves to the Roman, this Roman Catholic. That's what he said, that they have 76 books and Protestants have 66. So you're talking about the practice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, they were the first people to, you know, to start all this, I think, uh, no, not Christianity, but to, to have it. Um, so it's cool, I mean, to, to start building these churches. Come on, which churches are the oldest Roman Catholic churches? Because yeah. not only, I'm even shocked that they, I never actually knew that they had more books than these other Bibles. That's new. Also, I don't know. Should, but they do. I think I've said this in a video before. They do pray to Mary, yes. Yeah. Isn't that? They go through Mary. And then isn't that an idol? Doesn't that make Mary an idol? I don't know. I. They say it's not an idol. It's just like. I'm not saying to them it's not. Yeah, to them it's not. But from this point of view, don't you think when you pray to something, if I pray to this form? Don't you think I'm not idolizing it? According to them, she she meant a lot in the I don't know, but no, I don't want to go I don't want to you go want against to, them. You want to say um she was the mother of Jesus, that's why they're praying, but then when you say you said something mm -hmm. when you say in Jesus' name mm -hmm. I pray. Do they say that Catholics? I don't know the Catholic prayer, mm -hmm. I'm not familiar with it, but I'm saying others. Say in Jesus' name this and this. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' this and this. Were you not the one that said, um, no, not you? But then, that, don't you think that's how the confusion even comes between Jesus and God? Yeah, because the moment we start mentioning Jesus towards the end of the prayer, that means that He's the He's, he's God. There's nothing wrong with Jesus, but I'm saying, isn't that idolizing someone? Yeah, you can say that. But that's Mary, only, because that's, she's that's, the mother of Jesus. I don't know. It's it's um. That's your own opinion. I mean, that's that, that's your own. That's how you feel. Like that's uh, idolizing. According to them, they feel that's not. You get it. I'm not saying according to mm -hmm. them it is. Okay, for me, I feel From like this point of view. Of course, it's idolizing. You get it. But what is idolizing? Can we go into that? It's in the Ten Commandments. Is it talking about something? Is something that has no life? Like it's this. Like worshiping. To idolize is to worship. Is to worship what? Somebody or something? Somebody or something. Just that. Somebody or, or something. something. Okay. Yeah, I mean. Just like Catholics. someone else would say, other than Christianity, other than what others would say, Buddhist worship. I'm talking about Buddha. Oh, Buddhist, the Buddha. Yeah. Yes. Buddha. Like, see? To, to someone else, that's an idol. Anyway, it's also funny how um two is it two books? He mentioned two main books in the Bible, Luke and Matthew. You can talk about Jesus but give him different fathers. Yeah. So confusing. Very, very confusing, man. It is what it is, what do you think? I feel that 
just to be honest man like just to be honest i believe christianity way back was 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 really true and until up until until maybe a period of time it reached now whereby probably i feel people wanted to confuse and also probably make some money and whatnot because if you look at it why why was it revised 14 times why do we have the bible in different languages all over africa why do we have all this i mean if you look at it you, you so what i'm trying to say is something that is there and is happening now so i mean okay all over the world you understand so i mean the, the the um if you look at that factor there ought to be a lot of confusion when people are trying to rise it again and write it again were they trying to hard to hide out some facts about things that they don't want us to know or things that they don't want to want us to read about because there's a book that was really important the book of enoch you understand the book of Enoch, which talks about a lot of things that why do you think it's important you read it yes i read a, 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 a portion of it, of it just like you know the way you can get a summary of the whole thing but i'm not read everything so i mean in the book of Enoch, there's some important things there probably maybe they didn't want us to to focus on probably and there's also another book i've forgotten the name was was not put on the on the bible so come coming coming to think about all these things why is it that they're not putting these books in there why is it that they are not i'd like to understand so you're saying they only remove two books no there's a lot of books not only two books okay. there's so many books that already removed. some i don't even know you get it uh, i don't know that's why I'm, I'm like the modern christianity today is just totally confused there's so much confusion so much like just what you said or what did that say the book of luke and is it mashi uh jesus uh father's name was different yeah you get it i mean why would you have jesus father's name as this and then when you go to another book it's, it's a different name can't you see all this confusion you get it and he was trying to say that like the quran the author is god yeah yeah. Oh yes. Yes. Now yeah. remember, that's the point I wanted to talk about. He says the Quran can be challenged. Mm -hmm. Do you really think the Quran can be challenged? Because he can be challenged because because the author is God. Mm -hmm. But you can't challenge God. The Quran can be challenged, but the Bible can. Because people that are Christians. Or whatever the case is, stand, they do challenge the Quran, don't they? Of course, they do challenge the Quran. But 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 look, even if you start challenging the, the message Quran, of yes? the Bible, who is it from? Uh, as a collective, the Bible. Yes. Where is the message coming from, mm -hmm. or who orchestrated the, the message? Where is the message from? It's from God. You see, if it's uh, from the God. Christians, the Christians say that uh, God, uh, these people who wrote the Bible, were inspired by God. Understand? Inspired or they got the message from God. They were inspired. They were inspired. That's what I read. That's what I read. They were inspired by God to write. And that's when they started writing. But According to the Quran, like, it's the author. Like the book was written by we God. Things like the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So what do you have to say about that? Okay, the message okay, let's say the message from God to Moses, Moses wrote down the Ten Commandments. Those those two guys that were in prison. And suddenly was it an earthquake or something and they were free and God told them to go preach a certain message. Mm -hmm. So if they can preach it and write it, isn't the message from God? Yeah, it's from God, but again it's also inspired from God. Yeah, I mean what I can say is um I mean okay what you're trying to say is that why is it that we can't challenge the Quran and no, 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 mm -hmm. I'm saying according to him, mm -hmm. we cannot challenge it. But then we have the Bible, because I sit and think the Bible also contains teachings, or maybe not teachings, uh, a message from God. So why should other people sit down and challenge? 
Yeah. Okay, true. Because Christians are also seated somewhere thinking this you know, can be challenged. No, you know the problem, you know where everything went wrong is when this modern Christianity, the way things are are, are what are being um, are being done. Look at the Bible. How it was how it was written and up, up up until now we have books that are not even complete some of some like some of the things are not even there and whatnot you get it that's why it's so easy to challenge the bible you get it it's so easy any anybody can come out and say why did you remove the book of enoch what are you going to say as a pastor or anybody you're not going to say anything you start saying ah oh because of this okay let's go to the quran i don't know i don't know much about the quran i think it's the high time i should start reading the quran Maybe start doing more research about the Quran. If you go to the Quran and start saying, like you, you might find one or two things, but not many as as the Bible. You get it. That's why it's so easy to challenge the Bible because there's so many things that are just contradicting itself here and there. But according to to him, probably probably the Quran is it, it's, it's it's a book that you can't challenge because it's so hard to find the wrongs in the Quran or maybe to find contradictions in the Quran because it's just their spot on whatever the situation it is, their name it is or something. You get it. So for me, I'll say it's easy to probably it's easy to challenge the the Bible because there's so much errors in there. While the Quran probably there's maybe small errors and whatnot. So it's it's really hard for you to challenge it. But all in all, all, all I'm trying to say is it's funny that you should say that you who's searching. Yes, you're still in the searching. Mm -hmm. You believe Islam is the best right now. I don't believe it's the best. But you feel like it's better than like Christianity? Yes, that one. That one. Very good. Point. There's nothing else that you've studied. That's why I'm saying it's mm -hmm. the best. Mm -hmm. Compared to Christianity, it's I the best. I don't say it's the best. Use the word, I feel it's anyway, much better. Or, I mean, other than that, mm -hmm. don't you think you find yourself challenging be it Christianity, be it Islam, mm -hmm. and when you decide to look at other religions as well? What do you mean? The, the world doesn't have two religions. Of course, there are many religions. Exactly. Um, um, are you just going to study these two to find what you're looking for? No, Ming Ming. That's what I'm saying. I'm in a journey right now. Yeah? I've read... Okay. My question is, won't you find yourself challenging be it Christianity, be it Islam, while you look at other things too? Of course, of course. For now, that I'm in this, this whatever thing, Christianity is something that up until now it's it's so hard for even to think about the things that are being mentioned in there and start to think about is it should i follow this religion but there's so many mis miscon miscon whatever thing in there you get it now i'll be like okay let me settle with uh maybe islam and then now okay let's go to buddhism maybe let's go to let's see you understand slowly by slowly probably i learn to a place where there's more peace where there's no i'm not saying ah, okay now that this this and that uh you get it of course th it reached a point where i'll say like ah, but no probably buddhism makes a lot of sense compared to islam you get it? i'm still on a journey Could just like challenging the teachings or beliefs not the uh, probably the probably the yeah you can say all of them the teachings and the beliefs and whatnot you understand? but challenging i mean comparing yeah, of course, of course, comparing and try to find where, where do you fit. If you go to the supermarket, you try to compare prices, where, where, where can I fit myself in? You understand? The same thing I'm trying to do right now. Oh, which one has better quality? Yeah. Uh, not only, yeah, quality, uh, better, which one is cheaper, because sometimes cheap, cheap is expensive. So you, 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 find, you find something that will suit you. That, that, that will make you have the peace that you want you get it so I mean, i'm still on the journey i'm not saying islam is the best i didn't say that i'm saying it's much better compared to it's trying to be correct it's much better compared to 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 what to uh to the christianity teachings you get it but i have to go deeper and read the quran that's why i think i have to buy the book or maybe i should just download uh, just download the book on on my on my phone so that i start reading but I'm not trying to read the Quran just to find the wrong things. No, I want to read the Quran so that I I try to understand the teachings. Of course, all the religion makes sense, but which one is more? 
I mean a place where I can find peace, a place where I can I can say, you know what, I think this is the one. You understand? Yeah. But anyway, according to this uh, this message here, did that? I mean, did that? made some good points, very very good points which it makes Christianity look like there's so many errors and so many things out there that they need to fix okay anyway guys if you feel like you are in a better way just give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go down in the comment section and tell us exactly what you feel about our reaction and what you feel about this video right here the dad at his best part for really good information in here man I mean there's so much that you can look into and ponder and try to figure out the two differences of these two religions and uh, I mean we've tried to talk about uh, the things that probably you might be interested to listen to and also uh, th the most important thing is that we're here to learn too we are not trying to bash any other religion of course Christianity is also a very good religion Islam too you know we're not trying to make one religion look bad no we're here to just discuss and try to find out what is about uh, what um, we're trying to find out the truth of course we can't nobody has the answers we can't some, at some point we cannot find the truth but we are in the process of we are closer to find the truth anyway and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos to give us a better better content and last but not the least we're going to see you in the next video and peace out